Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am with my friends today and I am going to present a model about respiratory system, its parts and its functions. So let's get into it. I am going to introduce my friends to you all. So the first person is Kavya Priya, this is Devina Das and Bhavya. Hello friends, I am Kavya Priya. I am Devlina. I am Ritika. And I am Baby Bhavya. Today we are going to present a model about our respiratory system. Respiratory system consists of cell organs or structures used for gases exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in an organism. The functions of respiratory system are to transport air into the lungs, to facilitate the diffusion of oxygen into the bloodstream, receive carbon dioxide from the blood and exhale into the atmosphere and to carry out the process of respiration. Breathing is also part of respiration, while inhalation and one exhalation is known as breathing. Now let's look into respiration. The process by which the oxidation of food takes place to produce energy in the form of ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, is called as respiration. There are two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is the respiration in which the process of breakdown of food takes place in the presence of oxygen. It takes place in mitochondria. In aerobic respiration, glucose and oxygen gives us carbon dioxide, water and ATP. An aerobic respiration. An aerobic respiration is a respiration in which the breakdown of food takes place in the absence of oxygen. It takes place in cytoplasm. In an aerobic respiration, glucose and without use of oxygen gives us alcohol, carbon dioxide and ATP. Now this was about respiration. Now let's look into the different organs of our respiratory system. The first part of our respiratory system is nasal passage. The nasal passage is also known as nasal cavity. The main function of nasal cavity is to moderate the temperature of inhaled air. The nasal mucous membrane moisture the air as it passes through. Nasal mucus and hair traps the dust particles and other particulate matter and cilia transfer the trap particles to pines from where it passes through bronchi and then the lungs. Coming to the second part of our respiratory system is oral cavity. The oral cavity is also known as mouth. It is the secondary external opening for respiratory tract. Most normal breathing takes place in the nasal passage, but sometimes the oral cavity can be also used or replace the nasal cavity's function when needed. The oral cavity represents the first digestive tube. Its primary function is to serve as the entrance of alimentary tract and to initiate the digestive process by salivation and propulsion of alimentary bolus into pharynx. Coming to the third part of our respiratory system is pharynx. Pharynx is the part of the throat that is situated immediately behind the mouth and the nasal passage. Pharynx plays an important role. It receives air from nasal passage, water, food, etc. from oral cavity. The role of the pharynx is to facilitate food bolus into esophagus. The pharynx is designed the direct food bolus in this direction. It is here where the second phase of saline takes place. So the fourth part is trachea. Trachea serves as the main passageway through which air passes from the upper respiratory tract to the lungs. As air is pulled into the trachea during inhalations, it is warmed and moisturized before entering the lungs. It is the long tube that connects your voice box to your bronchi. Our bronchi send air to our lungs. The trachea is the key part of our respiratory system. The trachea is made up of rings of cartilage. It is lined with the cells that produce mucus. Fifth part is lungs. Lungs is one of the most important part of human body. It is the most important component of human respiratory system. The lungs main function is to help the oxygen in the air we breathe enter the red blood cells. Then the red blood cells carry the oxygen all around our body to be used in the cells found in our body. Lungs also help to get rid of carbon dioxide when we breathe out. So the sixth part is ribcage. Ribcage protects the internal parts of our body and gives a definite structure. Rib consists of 24 bones in 12 pairs which form the protective cage of the lungs. Ribs protect the internal chest cavities organs. The seventh part or the last part is the diaphragm. The diaphragm located below the lungs is the major muscle of the human respiratory system. It is a dome shaped muscle that contracts rhythmically and continually and most of the time involuntarily. Upon inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and flattens and the chest cavity enlarges. Hence, summarizing that, we inhale air either through our nasal passage or through our oral cavity. But most of the time, we inhale through our nasal passage. From nasal passage, it moves to our pharynx and then to our voice box, which is called larynx, and then to our windpipe, which is called trachea. The trachea is important for the human respiratory system because it is the only part which can take in and out 
air from the lungs and to the lungs. From trachea, it moves to our lungs. Inside the lungs is the bronchi and alveoli. These two parts help in changing of gases. During this process, the movement of ribs and diaphragm takes place. During inhalation, the ribs move up and outward and the diaphragm moves down. During exhalation, the ribs move down and inward and the diaphragm moves up to its former position. And again with the help of our lungs, bronchi, alveoli, trachea, oral cavity or nasal passage, the carbon dioxide inside our body is expelled out. Thank you everyone for paying your kind attention. We hope you liked our presentation. We hope you liked our video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment.